great pleasure right now to welcome to the program author of a book called Three Feet from Gold, Turn Your Obstacles into Opportunities. Great pleasure to have uh, Sharon Lecter, one of the co-authors of the book. She's also with the Napoleon Hill Foundation, which, of course, he wrote the great classic book, Think and Grow Rich. And this is a novel uh, based on those principles. We'll find out about it. And she joined us today from uh, the beautiful state of Arizona. How are you, Sharon? I'm fantastic, Doug. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Good to talk to you. I read that book uh, sometime when I was in high school. I think my mom might have given it to me. I think it's probably a good idea to give it to a high school kid, right? That original Think and Grow Rich book, huh? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, it came out, um, Napoleon Hill started his work back in 1908 on that book and published it during the Great Depression. And it's really credited for being the foundation and the, the grandfather of all personal development, personal finance. It really did. I mean, it wasn't anything that people didn't already probably know. I mean, a lot of it's based on common sense, but maybe they just need to hear it and maybe hear it and hear it in the way that he, he wrote it at that particular time. And of course, it it has stood the test of time, hasn't it? And then your book, which you've written right now, is kind of based on that, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, and Think and Grow Rich, the wisdom that Napoleon Hill shared is still as sound today as it was then. But what we wanted to do was take um, take the lessons and apply them and, and bring in people from today, um, people that are successful and have built great companies, great brands, and been a success in their lives today, and, and have them share not just their success stories, but what they, how they faced their darkest moment, how they came against these obstacles, and many of them. I mean, if they had quit and shuttered their doors, we wouldn't have things today like NASCAR, like... Um, Mrs. Fields Cookies, um, the Velcro. We wouldn't have Velcro if they had given up. And so these people were at that point in their time and, and when they were facing adversity that could basically they could just give up and quit. But they didn't. So we wanted to talk to them about what did they say to themselves. What was that mar magic formula that kept them going in the face of adversity? Now, how did you put it into a, a story form? Well, the story is a fable. It's a parable about a young author. Um, in essence, it's very close to what actually happened with the book because my co-author, Greg Reed, had begun the book and gotten these great interviews and this incredible information. But we put it in a story format about a young entrepreneur who has a mentor, um, Jonathan Buckland, who is a fictional character, who takes him under his wings and sends him out to interview very successful people to get him on his path to success. And by putting it in a parable, we, we, it's not just a dry, here's 35 interviews with people. We welded it into a story that you allow, you follow through with this young man, Greg, and you ha see him struggling and you see his small successes, you see his backward steps, his forward steps, and so you get engaged in the story, but along the way, you as the reader can engage and understand and, and relate heart to heart with many of these successful people, because with so many of them, you have absolutely the opportunity to learn from them and get the inspiration and the motivation to keep going. Most people that read the book call me and say, Sharon, I feel like you wrote it just for me. And that, that's the goal, is to provide that inspiration, that, that, that just that little kick in the pants to keep going. Do you find, and, and I think we're seeing more of it now, people getting out of the regular traditional corporate job, some, some by choice, some not by choice, but they're, they're becoming more entrepreneurial now. At this point in time, it's probably a good idea to have those skills, right? Oh, absolutely. And if you think about when Think and Grow Rich came out, it was during the Great Depression, and many people attribute it for how we got out of the Great Depression because people took responsibility, they started small businesses, and many of those small businesses that were created during the Great Depression are huge successful conglomerates today. And so what we want is people to recognize that now is the greatest opportunity. Markets are low, that we are being forced into taking care of ourselves. We may not be able to impact the world economy, but we can impact the economy in our own wallet, in our own household. And we have the ability to start fresh. Right now, there's no doubt that many, many people are paralyzed by fear. And that's the problem. Fear can do one of two things. It can paralyze you or motivate you. And we want people to turn that fear into motivation to succeed. Go out there and seize the opportunity to create something new. And in Three Feet from Goal, we talk about your personal success equation. And we recommend that ways that you can find the right pathway for yourself. When it comes right down to it, the country of America was really 
put together by entrepreneurs. I mean, they, they got out of England and came over here and, and started their own country, right? I mean, isn't that the ultimate entrepreneurship? <laughs> Well, and, and that is what America is founded yeah. on, capitalism and entrepreneurship, and it's time we get back to that. And I have many people say, well, Sharon, you know, isn't success more than about money? And I say, absolutely. Success is defined when you look in the mirror. You know, are you happy with who you are? Are you happy with what you have and, and what you've built for your family? And now is the time to really take control of your own personal financial life and your family's future and start something new. Go back to our basics and become an entrepreneur, start a small business, and move forward knowing that you're on the right path. It's a great idea for a book. It's called Three Feet from Gold, Turn Your Obstacles into Opportunities, and uh, you're part of the Napoleon Hill Foundation. Uh, what other things do you do out there? Well, I'm working with the foundation on this book. I was originally, um, I have my own company called Pay Your Family First. You can see it at payyourfamilyfirst.com. Mm -hmm. We create experiential learning tools to teach young people and um, families and women about money. And I'm collaborating with the Napoleon Hill Foundation and my co-author, Greg Reed, in this project. I'm working with the Napoleon Hill Foundation on other projects related to women and children. So I really believe the future of success of business is the right association, and that's part of the success formula that we talk about in Three Feet from Gold. So we're living proof of what we're trying to talk about in this book. And that's taking your passions, combining them with your talents, and then finding the right associations and taking action. But above all, have the faith that you're on the right path. And you'll hear those stories. Dave Lineger, who was the founder and creator of Remax Realty, he talks about the three years where he, everybody told him it was crazy. He should shut his doors. He should file bankruptcy. And he was, you know, he wrote, would write out uh, emails and letters to his creditors saying, I know I owe you $50,000, but here's a $50 check. I'm going to pay you. I just need time. And where he would get letters, and every letter he got had three names on it from an attorney, a law firm, people wanting to sue him. But he kept knowing that he was on the right path. And he talks about that day that he got the first call and sold the first franchise. And today he's the largest real estate franchise operation in the world. And yet he opens up that time frame when he was experiencing exactly what many people are experiencing today. And that's why we want to give that hope, that message that you're not alone. And the way to look forward is to find the right association, find the right people that can support you. Think about who you spend the most time with, the five people you spend the most time with. Are they supporting you? Are they help propelling you in the right direction? And that's really the goal here is to start adding value to yourself and by giving and donating your time and your energy to create something new. And in doing that, you're going to find the opportunity of a lifetime. Great timing for this book at this time. It's called Three Feet from Gold, published by uh, Sterling Publishing. We've been talking with Sharon Elector. Sharon, always uh, great to talk to uh, authors, particularly ones of uh, motivational, inspirational books. Hopefully we can do it again uh, down the road, but thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you so much, and please uh, have your listeners go to personalsuccessequation.com. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back.